الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا. Then we continue in the collection of forty hadith by al Nawawi, al Hafiz al Nawawi, رحمه الله تعالى. And we are today reading al Hadith al Thalith, the third hadith, عن أبي عبد الرحمن عبد الله ابن عمر. Ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhuma qala sami'tu rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul bunia al-islamu ala khams shahadati an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu wa iqami salati wa itai zakati wa hajj al-bayti wa sawmi ramadhan wa wahu al-bukhari Muslim. This hadith is from Ain on the authority of or from Abi Abdul Rahman. Abu Abdul Rahman, who is Abdullah ibn Omar ibn al Khattab. Abdullah ibn Omar, his kunya is Abu Abdul Rahman. This is an Abi Abu. Became Abi after An Harf Jar. He became Majroor Abi Abdul Rahman. This is Mudaf Mudaf Ilay, the father of Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman is Mudaf Mudaf Ilay, the slave of Al Rahman. And Abi Abdul Rahman, Abdullah. Abd here is Majroor. As a badal, as a replacement for Abi, because we could just say An Abdullah, and not have to give his kunya, right? This is mudaf mudaf ilay. This ibn is majroor as a badal for Abi, right? Because we could just say An ibn Omar ibn Al Khattab radiyallahu anhu, and this is majroor. As is mudaf mudaf, the son of Omar, but it's no minasarf. It doesn't take kasra, and it doesn't take when it's majroor, and it doesn't take tanwin. Omar is no minasarf, so it does not take kasras when it's majroor, and it does not take tanwin. Ibn is a replacement for Omar, a badal for Omar, because it could just be Ibn al Khattab, and we don't have to say Omar, and then Ibn al Khattab is mudaf mudaf ilay, the son of. Or Al Khattab's son. So that's the reason for our kasras and fatas and stuff inside of that. So An Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah ibn Omar ibn Al Khattab radiyallahu anhuma. We say An Huma because both of them Huma are Muslims. Abdullah and Omar, right? As well as Abdul Rahman. But we're not talking about Abdul Rahman. We're talking about Abdullah ibn Omar. May Allah be pleased with both of them. Qala, he said, "Sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam yaqul. I heard the Messenger of Allah, the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Rasula mansub mafulun bihi. Sami'tu mada? Sami'tu man?" I heard what? I heard who? I heard the Messenger of Allah. Messenger here is Mansub, because it's the object. I heard the Messenger of Allah, Mudaf Mudaf Ilay, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Yaqul. I heard him say. Here it's actually like saying, because it's in the present tense. I heard him saying. Right? I heard him saying. Buni al Islam ala khams. Buni al Islam ala khams. From Bana. Bana meaning to build. He built. Buniya is medful. Passive. Bana is ma'roof or active. Ma'roof meaning the, the doer is known. Right? And the object is not necessarily known, but when it's majhul, means the door is unknown. 
from the verb itself. It might be known from the context. It might be known from the fitra. It might be known from what needs to necessarily be known in Islam. But we're talking about the verb structure itself when it's majhul, bunya, means we know what was built, but we don't necessarily know who built it. The doer of the verb was not mentioned, but rather what was done is mentioned. So it's majhul, it's unknown, meaning the doer is unknown. So, for instance, yaqulu, Rasulullah, we know who is the doer there. It is Rasulullah, right? We know, uh, you know, when you say, qala nabiyu, we know who he said it. But if we said, qila, lin nabi, right? Then we don't know who said it, but we know it was said. And then what he said here, right? What was said would be known, but who said it would not be known. So it's majhul. So bunya here is majhul, passive. Islam is built ala khams. Now we know who built Islam on five. Allah Azza wa Jal built it on five. But from the Arabic, we don't know that. Bunya al Islamu ala khams. Islam is built on five. It doesn't say five pillars. It doesn't say any of that. It says khams. And some narrations will say khamsa. With a ta marbuta. Right? Some narrations will say khamsa. Why? Because they'll say, okay, rukin is masculine. And whenever we're talking about something, the number is going to be the opposite. So khamsa to arkan. Or here it could be khamsa something. And that something is plural. Right? It, but it's feminine. Right? So either way it goes. Ala khams, which is five, and it was left open, right? Islam is built on five. Five what? Five usul, five kham, uh, five arkan, five, uh, you know, you can leave that open, right? Shahadati an la ilaha illallah. The, testi the testimony that there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. And that Muhammad is his slave and his messenger. وَإِقَامِ الصَّلَاةِ And the establishment of the Salat from قَامِ يَقُومُ وَإِتَاءِ الزَّكَاءِ From أَتَى يَأْتِي To give, right? To come with something, to give it. To come with it, to give it. وَحَجِّ الْبَيْتِ And pilgrimage to the house. وَصَوْمِ رَمَضَانِ With fasting in Ramadan. Now, all of these are majroor, where we have Shahadati. Why is it Shahadati? Who can tell me? Because of uh, Allah. 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 Buni al Islam ala Shahadati. Buni al Islam ala Iqam al Salah. Buni al Islam ala Ita al Zakat. Buni al Islam ala Hajj al Bayt. Buni al Islam ala Sawm al Ramadan. Right? Altogether, it's bunya. Islam is built upon all of them. Right? Rawahul Bukhari wa Muslim. Narrated by Bukhari and Muslim. Any questions about this hadith? No. Even Amir is at the top here. I don't know what's wrong with Abdullah and Abu Tahir's uh, internet today, but. I'm going to end up on the top, so I'm going to read first, inshallah. An Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah ibn Umar ibn Umar ibn Al Khattabi. Hold on, let me try this again. An Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah ibn Umar ibn Al Khattab. Umar ibn Al Khattab, radiallahu anhu, anhu ma qal. سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول بني الإسلام على خمس شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمدا عبده ورسوله وإقام الصلاة وإتاء الزكاة وحج البيت وصوم رمضان رواه البخاري ومسلم الله يبارك فيك يا عبد الله 
an Abi Abdurrahman Abdullahi ibn Umar ibn ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhuma qal sami'tu rasul rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul Bunni al-Islamu alla khams shahadati alla ilaha illallahu wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu wa ikamil salat wa ikamil salat wa ita'i zakat wa hajjil bayti wa sami wa sami ramadan wa wahu wa wahul bukhari wa muslim tayyib aba tahir an abi abdul rahman abdullah ibn umar ibn al qattab radiyallahu anhu ma qal sami'tu rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqulu buniya al islam ala khams shahadati an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu wa iqami as salah wa ita'i az zakah wa hajj al bayt wa sawm al ramadan rawahu al bukhari wa muslim abdullah said naam here why is he, why did he write naam you ask me yeah you wrote naam I was speaking for you on your behalf to the sister here. Yeah, I already said that earlier, no problem. Anyway, no. Amir. Amir. Yeah. You gonna read? Uh, yeah. And I'd be Abdul Rahman. Abdullahi. 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 Abdullahi ibn Umar Umar ibn al Khattab Qurad Allahu anhu Qala Sami'atu Rasulal Rasul Rasulullah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Yaqul Buniya al-Islami Alain Buni al Islamu, Islamu, there's a dhamma there. No. Buni al Islamu, Alan Hamsi. Hams. Shahad, Shahad, Shahadati. Alla illa illa wa anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu wa iqamin min salah wa inna inaya wa ita'i ita'i wa ita'i az zakat wa hajj al bayti wa sumin wa madan Wah, Ramadan. Rawahu al Bukhari wa Muslim. No. I got a question. Uh, I forgot. Um, see if you can remind me uh, about when there is the bin, Ibn, without uh -huh. the. Uh, the alif if we stop example abdullah how do we continue do we say bin or ibn uh i mean there's a lot of of difference the, the, <coughs> the, 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 uh, yeah I, I really don't know i mean there's a there's a lot of difference of opinion some people say if you stop if you if you're at the beginning of a line even though there's a name in front of it, you write the elef, and there's all different types of rules that people try to apply. Uh, which one do you say, Abdullah ibn Omar, Abdullah bin Omar? 
I, I don't know. If you were to stop, I don't know. If it was in the beginning, like if you were just to say Ibn Omar, then you would say Ibn Omar. You wouldn't say Bin Omar. But uh, if you were to stop in the middle or something, I, I don't know the rule. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Al Hadith al Rabi'ah. I'll start there for a minute anyway. Let me see. I need to go down some. Just the problem having too many pages in the file, man. It's hard to scroll up and down in little increments. Al Hadith al Rabi', the fourth Hadith. And. Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu qaal haddathana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa huwa sadiq al-masduq inna ahadakum yujma'u khalquhu fi batni ummihi arba'ina yawman thumma yakunu Alakatan Mithla Dalika Thumma Yakunu Mudgatan Mithla Dalik. This hadith is known as Al Hadith al Sadiq al Masduk. Hadith al Sadiq al Masduk. The hadith of Al Sadiq al Masduk. This is what this hadith is kind of known as. Uh, one of its names, right? And Abi Abdurrahman, and it's the same thing we had in the previous hadith. And Abi Abdurrahman should be Abu, then the Mudafilays and everything, all this is the same, right? Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. And Abdullah, right? Because this is a battle for this. Abdullah Mudaf Mudafilay. Ibn is a battle for Abdullah. Right? Because we can just say, An ibn Mas'ud. Right, Mudaf Mudaf Ilay. So it's good to know that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and Abdullah ibn Umar the Kunyas are Abu Abdurrahman because this makes it easier to memorize memorize their Kunya, right? Allah no. Radiallahu Anhu, he's the Muslim. Mas Mas'ud was not a Muslim, just Abdullah. So we don't say Anhuma, we just say Anhu. Allah. Haddathana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Haddathana means he narrated to us, right? Haddathana, he spoke to us, he said to us. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, marfu'a, because it's the fa'il. Wa huwa sadiqu al-masduq. Huwa sadiqu al-masduq. We get this from sad dal qaf. What does that mean? To tell the truth. Sadaqa. Like Sadaqa Rasulullah. Sadaqa Allah al -Azim. All that. Sadaqa, right? And if we make it a fa'il, we'll say fa'il. Meaning, the one who told the truth. Right? Well, masduq is the maf'ul. Right? The maf'ul. Maf'ul. It's on the same scale, maf'ul masduq, meaning the one who is believed, right? Sadiq, the one who tells the truth, and masduq, the one who is believed. So, wa huwa sadiq al masduq. And why is this hadith known as this? Because every hadith he is a sadiq al masduq, right? Every hadith he's known for that. But this hadith deals with the creation of the baby in the womb. It deals with the matters of the unseen, right? And so this is why it is known as this hadith. This is why this phrase inside of there, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said it. Because as far as the Prophet prayed like this, he went here, he said this, he did that, he prohibited that, he didn't like this then all that's normal. But when you start talking about the unseen, how the baby's created in the womb, and, and how 
a person's deeds are written and all of that matters of the unseen which might seem difficult to believe then he prefaced the statement with and he is the truthful the believed so he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam haddathana inna ahadakum yujma'u khalquhu fi batni ummihi Inna is the particle of nasb, harf nasb, meaning it makes the noun after it, mensub. Ahadakum. Ahad is one, kum you, one of you, verily one of you. Yujma'u, from yajma'u, that's the jama'a yajma'u, but the majhu, the, the ma'roof is yajma'u. Here it's Majhul, it's passive, right? Yujma'u, one of you is gathered. Who did the gathering? We don't know. But one of you is gathered. Khalquhu, his creation. Khalquhu, his creation is gathered. Fi batni ummihi, in the stomach of his mother. In the belly of his mother, not so much stomach, right? Because ma'ida is the stomach, like the actual stomach where the food goes in, that part, you know, when you got to get surgery and all that, ma'ida. Like the word ma'ida, right, from the surah, but with a ayin and without the, uh, without the alif there, ma'ida. That's your stomach, right? But botany, they might say stomach, but it's like the belly. That area right there, that whole area where your kidney, liver, intestines, all that. That area, the button, right? Yujma'u khalquhu fi botany ummihi. His creation is gathered in the stomach or the belly of his mother. Right? Arba'ina yawmin is gathered in there for 40 days. Right? Thumma yakunu alaqatan. And then it becomes Thumma then yakunu it is alaqatan. And alaqa meaning something which clings. Right, that's the womb there, and there's a little thing there clinging to the side. Alaqa, like in the Surah Iqra, or Surah Alaq, as it's called, right? Thumma yakunu alaqatin mithla dhalik, meaning mithla arba'ina yawman. And it's an alaqa, or similar time. Thumma yakunu mudghatan mithla dhalik. Then it becomes a mudra, a mudra mithla dhalik. A mudra is from the word, let me find the exact root real quick. But it means something chewed up, right? A mudra is like a bite, a chew, right? From mim dad rain, mim dad rain. So a mudra is a bite, a chew, right? It could be a morsel, a little something that you bite, uh, something that you take. Not the whole sandwich, but a bite of it. Not the whole uh, uh, pile of peas, but this, you know, the scoop of peas or the morsel of peas, right? So mudra is this bite. It's going to become that morsel in a similar time. And when they talk about it in the science books, and I'm sure you guys seen like the miraculous science stuff of Islam, it looks like a chewed up piece of gum, right? That after it's this little small thing hanging to the side, then it starts to look like a chewed up piece of gum, right? And that's the word mudra here. Any questions about that? I think they refer, <clears throat> I think they refer to the clot. Now the clot is the alapa. Not clot, clump. 
I don't know. The alaqa is this, clot. After that, I don't know what they call it after that. Yeah. Clop with a P. Clop. How you clop or something. Clop. No. This alaqa is a clot. I know that. Alaqa is a clot with a T. After mudga, what do they refer it as? I don't know. But it's a chewed up piece of flesh, a lump of flesh. <coughs> we can look it up. It's in the Quran. Give me a second. You chewed up substance. The Surah al just says, I mean, alaqatin, they say from a clot, right? Then from a little lump of flesh. Right? That's what it says there. And then it says in Mu'minun. Yeah, then we made it into a clot and then a little lump of flesh. That's how they're translating in the Noble Quran. Right? But this is a, you know, one of the sciences that they talk about, one of the miracles of the Quran and Islam, because how did the Prophet saw some know it looked like a little chewed up piece of flesh? And when you look at it, it looks like it almost has little teeth marks in it and all that stuff, like when you were chewing on gum. So they say, how could he know that? It's not even really seen by the naked eye or even by a microscope, you know, until in the last hundred years or so. So how would he know that, right? Summa, if I can get it to pop in there, I guess that's hopefully that's seen. Make it a little better, hopefully. One second. Ah, I just keep my okay. Summa yursalu ilayhi al malak. Fayan fuku fihi al ruh. Wa yu'maru. Be arbai kalimat. Be kat be rizkihi, wa ajalihi, wa amalihi, wa shakiyun o sai. Umma then, your salo ilayhi al malak. Your sel, your sel is to send. Right? From arsala your sel. Arsala your sel. It's on the same form, number four of Islam. Aslama yuslimu, amana yu'minu, ahsana yuhsinu. It's on the same form, form four of Ra'in Lam. Umma yursalu ilayhi. Then he sends to it al malak. A malak is sent to it. Al malak is sent to it. Fayanfuku fihi al ruh. From nafakha, right? Meaning to blow. Nafakha yanfukhu, to blow. The angel on the day of judgment, say yanfukhu fi, in the trumpet, right? He's going to blow into the trumpet. <coughs> Fayanfukhu fihi ar-ruh. So after this, which they say 120 days, right? After this 120 days, the first 40 where he's gathered, then the second 40 where he's a alaqa, and then the second 40 where he's a mudga, or the third 40 where he's a mudga, then jaa ilayhi al malak an angel. And as we said, with a fata, it's angel. With a kasra, it's king. So make sure we say it right, right? Malak, with a fata, is an angel. The singular of malaika. فَيَنْفُخُ فِيهِ الروح. And he blows into him the ruh, the soul. وَيُؤْمَرُ بِأَرْبَعِ كَلِمَاتِ وَيُؤْمَرُ is the majhu of يَأْمَرُ From أَمَرَ يَأْمَرُ يَأْمُرُ أَمَرَ يَأْمُرُ To command. Here يُؤْمَرُ He is commanded بِأَرْبَعِ كَلِمَاتِ with four words. The angel is commanded. This Yu'maru is the angel being commanded. With four words. Biket bi rizqihi. With writing. 
Katabayaktubu, be kept be with writing. Rizqihi, his rizq, his provisions. So he's going to write while he's in the soul of his mother, his provisions. Wa ajalihi, from, uh, from Aleph, Jim Lam. Wa ajalihi, in his ajal, the verb ajala means to delay something. So here it means his delayed or his appointed time, meaning when he's going to die. His appointed time. How long will he live? His lifespan, basically. Right? His delayed time. What is that time that he has? Wa ajalihi. Wa amalihi. His actions. And his actions. Wa shaqiyun o sa'id. Wa shaqiyun o sa'id. Shaqi, when you look it up, you're going to look it up under sheen. Kaf, wow. Wow. It'll be Sheen, Kaf, Ya inside of parentheses as well. They'll both be there, right? Shaqi, you mean to make, to be miserable or unhappy or sad and all of that, right? Oh, Saeed from Seen, Ain Dao, to be happy. So he's going to write. ثُمَّ يُرْسَلُوا إِلَيْهِ الْمَلَكِ Then an angel is sent to him. فَيَنْفُخُ فِيهِ الْرُوحِ Or he sends to him an angel. And he breathes, فَيَنْفُخُ فِيهِ الْرُوحِ And he breathes into it the soul. وَيُؤْمَرُوا بِأَرْبَعِي كَلِمَاتِ And it is commanded with four words. بِكَتْبِ رِزْكِهِ With writing his provisions. وَأَجَلِهِ Will be kept be ajalihi, right? And with writing his lifespan. Will be kept be amalihi, and with writing his actions. Wa shaqiyun o sa'id. And if he's going to be miserable or happy. Any questions about that? Faqra. Faqra. There's a paragraph or a section, right? Fakra. The uh, all this kind of go back to, uh, I guess the rule because of the B, and it's gonna be continuous with writing, his provision with writing. Well, his, uh, it's corner. with B kept B kept B is because of the B. But yeah. kept be rizqi he is mudaf mudaf ilay with writing of his provisions. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the other one, the next one. I know. It's going to be yeah. mudaf mudaf ilay. It's going to be the mudaf ilay again. This is going to be a bado for this mudaf ilay. It's a substitute for this one. So be kept be rizqi is mudaf mudaf ilay. Be kept be ajali he mudaf mudaf ilay. Be kept amali he mudaf mudaf ilay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. what I was saying because it's going not back to because the of the B. But because of its mudafilay, it's mudafilay here. It's you understand? Mudafilay. It's not taking the place of. It's the taking Rufa. the place of it, but it's but it's when it takes its place, it takes. It becomes it, mu, becomes uh, mudafilay. Right. When it takes its place, it, it takes everything that the mudaf whatever it whatever something was the mubdil the thing that's replaced the badil. The replacement takes every, if it was if it was definite, indefinite, male, male, female numbers like that, it takes its place like that. No. What about the last two? A shakiyun al I guess it's going to be something probably missing there, right? Mm -hmm. Give me one second. I got a book here of the Arab of Arba'in Hadith. Give me a second, because uh, there's obviously a phrase missing there. Uh, let's see here. I've been okay. Keep it up. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da. 
اوكي شقي مساوي وال حرف اطف للمفرد وشقي خبر المبتدا محذوف تقديره وهو شقي او سوئي so he says basically وهو is missing here says وهو شقي او سعي so it makes it like a uh, a خبر and is not necessarily the مضاف مضاف اليه right so uh, حرف الات مساعي معتوف على الشقي مرفوع وعلامة الرفع يضم مضاف طيب no problem وعمله حرف الات المفرد وعمل معتوف على ما قبله مجبور وعلى ما تجاري كسر وعملهم it just says that it's a خبر للمبتدى المحذوف right and the مبتدى here would be وهو right وهو so it's as if it's another phrase but it's inside of those four so it's not having anything controlling it so therefore it's marfua right wahua shaqiyun aw sa'id and Allah knows best that's what it says inside the i'rab of the arba'een and nawwi then he says fawalladhi la ilaha ghayri فَوَالَّذِي لَا إِلَهَا غَيْرُهُ فَا is so or therefore right showing uh, a movement in time or in order and wal wa here is the wow al qasam wow al qasam meaning the wow of swearing doesn't mean and it means by like you're swearing by Allah wallahi wallahi and I swear by the one La ilaha ghayru. There is no God other than Him. La ilaha ghayru. There is no God other than Him. I swear by the one there is nothing worthy of worship other than Him. Inna ahadakum. And again the same phrase as earlier. Verily one of you. Mansub after inna. La ya'malu bi'amali ahlil jannah. Here this lamb is lamb at tokid. Lamb at tokid, the lamb of emphasis. Ya'malu, he will act. One of you, he will act. And indeed, this is some type of emphasis. You don't necessarily have to translate it, but it's there. Indeed, one of you will act. The amali ahlul jannah. With the actions of the people of jannah. حتى until ما يكون بينه وبينها إلا ذراع. Somebody's uh, fire fire uh, smoke detector needs a battery, I think. <laughs> حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها إلا ذراع. حتى until there is not. This ma is a negation. يكون there won't be. Bainahu between him wa bainaha meaning Jannah wa bain al Jannah ila dhira except a dhira a dhira is from here to here. From your elbow to your fingertip, that's a dhira, right? That's a measurement that they used to use, a dhira. حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها يعني بين الجنة إلا ذراع. So إن أحدكم لا يعمل بعمل أهل الجنة. One of you will act with the actions of the people of Jannah. حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها إلا ذراع until there is not between him and it meaning جنة except a forearm's length or however you want to call it in English a ذراع we're learning Arabic so we don't want to call it anything in English right فيسبق عليه الكتاب ah here we know that means so or therefore showing time or movement Forward in time. Yes, Biku. 
From we had this word before, sabaka, yusabiku, right? All of that, yasbiku. Yasbiku meaning to overtake. Like the one who wins the race is the sabiq. The one who wins, the one who reaches and proceeds. So yes, biku. So it will. So here he is, just this hand span in between Jannah, right? That's the only thing left. And then Al Kitab, the yes, biku alayhi. He's almost at the finish line, and the book is going to overtake him. Which book? Rizqihi wa ajalihi wa amalihi wa shaqiyun aw sa'i. What Allah wrote for him. What Allah wrote for him. Because this shaqiyun aw sa'i, a lot of us when we first see it, is going to be happy or sad, meaning in this life. No. It can mean that, but it also means shaqiyun aw sa'i in the major sense, which is in the hereafter. If he's going to be from the people of Jannah or the people of Anar. So he. Is doing the actions of the people of Jannah. Ya'malu. Bi amali ahla Jannah. He's doing the actions of the people of Jannah. Hatta ma yakunu baynahu wa baynaha illa dhira. Until there's not between him and it, meaning Jannah, except this dhira. Fa yasbiku alayhi al-kitab. So the book overtakes him. The book precedes him. Fa ya'malu bi amali ahli nar. So he acts with the actions of the people of the hellfire فَيَدْخُلُهَا and so he enters it any questions? No. <clears throat> no. وَإِنَّ أَحَدَكُمْ لَيَعْمَلُوا بِعَمَلِ أَهْلِ النَّارِ one of you would do the actions of the people of the hellfire. Same construction with the lamb and and all of that. <laughs> Until there is not between him and it, ha, meaning anar. And anar is feminine. Anar is feminine even though it doesn't have a tamarbuta. Jahannam and anar are feminine even though they don't have tamarbuta. And there's not between it and him and it except this dira, this measurement. Fayasbiku alayhi al kitab. So the book will overtake him. Fayamalu bi amali ahl al jannah. And he will act with the actions of the people of Jannah. Fayadhulaha. And so he will enter it. Rawahu Bukhari wa Muslim. And I elaborate a bit on this part as to why it's like that. It's very frightening. I don't understand why it's like that. I don't understand what you mean. If you can clarify, we will. Otherwise, when we get to the explanation, then we'll get it. But if you, but I don't understand the question as it is. But inshallah, inside the explanation, uh, if, unless it's something inside the Arabic, if you're talking about the meaning of it, then we'll get that inshallah when we get to the explanations inshallah ta'ala. That way you get the explanation of Abdullah Sunnah Qasim or Sheikh Fozan like this. It'll be better, inshallah. It just says that, inshallah, the meaning and the, the, the sharp, the explanation of it. When we get to the explanation of Abdul Muslim and Sheikh Saleh Fozan, it'll be better for, to listen to theirs instead of our, our even Rajab's instead of listening to mine, inshallah. So if there's no questions in the last paragraph, then there's no questions in this paragraph. So, if the brothers want to uh, read the hadith, we'll start with Abdullah. Al Hadith Rabbil. And Abi Abdurrahman Abdullahi ibn Mas'ud, radiallahu anhu, call Hadathana. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa not haddathana not haddathana there's no shadda on the thaq the shadda okay. is on the dal haddathana haddathana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa huwa sadiq mas'ud masduk inna ahadukum 
Either Yoma or Yomen. If you want to stop, say Yoma. You still have to say the one Fata because the Aleph is there. Yoma. Yakunu Alakatan Bitla Falik. Thumma Yakunu Mutvatan Bitla Falik. Zalik. Remember we said even though it's not written, it's as if the Aleph is there. And then sometimes Zalik. you find the text with the little dagger Aleph, right? No. Zalik. So you want Zalik. Zalik. No. Thumma yusalu ilayhil malik. That's just malik, right? That's not malik. Malik. Fayanfu. Fayan Fuku Fi Hiro Ru Wa Yumaru Bi Arba I Ba Arba I Kalimatan Bi Katbi Rizkihi Wa Akhalihi Wa Amalihi Ajalihi Jim Jim Ajalihi Wa Ajalihi Wa amalihi wa shaki'u o sa'id. Shaki'yun. Shaki'yun. The dumb is on the ya, not on the alaf. Shaki'yun. Wa shaki'yun o sa'id. Fa walla thi la illa ghayruhu. Inna ahadukum la ya'malu. Be Amali Ahlil Jannati Hatta Maya Kunu Baina Huwa Baina Ha Illa Thirau Fayasbiku Alay Hill Kitab Fayamalu Be Amali Ahlil Ahlinna Ahlinari Fayat Huluha Fa in a hadukum la yahmalu be al amali ahlinari. Hatta ma yakunu bainahu wa bainaha illa thiraun. Fa yasbiku alayhil kitab. Fa yahmalu be amali ahlil jannati ayat. Kuluha Kuluha Wawahu 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 Wawahari Say it slowly Rawahu 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 Bukhari Wa Muslim No, you sound like Bugs Bunny Bugs Bunny Wawahu Elmer J. Fudd Wawahu Rawahu You gotta say it slow Rawahu there you go. You got it good. Inshallah. Who's next? Abba Tahir. <coughs> and Abi Abdul Rahman, Abdul Rahman, Abdullahi ibn Masood, radiallahu an, qala, haddathana, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa huwa sadiqu masduq, inna ahadakum, يُجْمَعُ قَلْقُهُ فِي بَطْنِ أُمِهِ أَرْبَعِينَ يَوْمًا ثُمَّ يَكُونُ عَلَقَةً مِثْلَ ذَلِكَ ثُمَّ يَكُونُ مُضْقَةً مِثْلَ ذَلِكَ ثُمَّ يُرْسَالُ إِلَيْهِ الْمَالِكَ فَيَنْفَكُ فِيهِ الْرُّحُ وَيُؤْمَرُ بِأَرْبَعِي كَلِمَاتٍ كَلِمَاتٍ بِكَتْبِ رِسْكِ Wa ajalihi, wa amalihi, wa shakiyyun, aw sa'i. Fawa alladhi la ilaha qayru, inna ahadakum la ya'amalu bi amali ahli al-jannah, hatta ma yakunu baynahu wa baynaha illa dhira'a. Fa yasbiqu alayhi al-kitab, fa ya'amalu bi amali ahli al-nar, fa yadquluhaa. 
وإن أحدكم ليعمل بأعمل الأعمال أهل النار حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها إلا ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بأعمال أهل الجنة فيرقلها رواه البخاري ومسلم الله يبارك فيك أمير تبارك الله Al Abdir 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 Rahman Abdir Abdir Rahman Abdil Abdil Abdillahi Ibn Masud Radiallahu Anhu Kolan Hadatana Ros Ros Rasulahi 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 صلى الله عليه وسلم وهو صادق المصدق إن حدكم حجمه قلقه في بطن أمه أربعين يوم نطفه ثم يقول يقول له ألقى مثل ذلك ثم يقول مدق مدق مثل ذلك ثم يو يرسل 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 إلا هي علم علم ملك الملك قد ينفق فقو فيه الروح ويوم الروح بالأنباء قليما بكت بكتني حسبي رزقي وأجلي وأجلي وأملي وشقي على السعيد فوالله 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 فوالذي والذي فوالذي فوالذي والله الذي لا إله غيره إن غيره 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 إن أحدكم لا يعمل بعمل بعمل أهل الجنة حتى ما يقول بينه وإنها إلا ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فعلمه بعمل أهل النار فيدقلوها وإنا أحدكم ليعمل بعمل 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 النار بعمل 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 أهل النار حتى ما يقول بينه وبينها إلا ذراع فيحبق عليه عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل أهل الجنة فيد فيد كلها رواه البقاري 
والمسلم يا عامر عن عن ابي عبد الرحمن عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله عنه قال حدثنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وهو الصادق المصدوق ان ان احدكم يجمع خلقه في بطن امه 40 يوما نطفه ثم يكون علقه مثل ذلك ثم يكون مضغه مثل ذلك ثم يرسل اليه الملك فينفخ فيه الروح ويؤمر باربع كلمات بكتب رزقه واجله وعمله وشقي او سعيد فوالذي لا اله لا اله غيره غيره ان احدكم لا يعمل لا يعمل بعمل اهل الجنه حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها الا ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل اهل النار فيدخلها وان احدكم لا يعمل بعمل اهل النار حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها الا ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل اهل الجنه فيدخلها فيدخلها اذا فيدخلها فيد فيدخلها فيدخلها يدخل يدخل the fact just so therefore it doesn't have any controlling factors it doesn't change anything يدخلها فيدخلها فيدخلها رواه البخاري ومسلم Allah barak fiik. You want to take one more short one or do you want you guys want to go? I know it might be late for you guys. It's up to you. Sub if you have time. I got a quick question too, I feel law. Well, Bob. That's when you got the um for walladhi for walladhi. Uh-huh. You you went on with that instead of uh pronouncing the um uh, like the uh the high at the end uh Allah it's not Allah it's alladhi it's not the name Allah it's for walladhi i swear by the one that there's nothing worthy of worship except him it's not i swear by Allah it's i swear by the one who there's nothing worthy of worship except him So that's why there was no ha there, right? It was a ya at the end, and it was a thou in front of it. Fawaladi, and I can't get that hadith of Khamis to stay on the page for some reason. <laughs> I'm about to break this PD up up in a smaller portion. There we go. Okay, uh, it, it was written like this: Alladi. That's not Allah. That's Alladi, the one, and it says Walladi. And then it had a fa in front of it. For walladi, and so I swear by the one, la ilaha ghairu, the one there's nothing worthy of worship other than him. Got it? Yeah. For you. Al Hadith al Khamis, an Um al Mu'minin, Um Abdullah Aisha ta radiyallahu anha. عنها right قالت on the on or from on the authority of or from أم المؤمنين the mother of the believers أم عبد الله أم here is مجرور after عن حرف الجار أم المؤمنين mother of the believers مضاف مضاف إليه أم عبد الله is just a بدل all of that's just a بدل أم مجرور After an, right as a badal, Um Abdullah mudaf mudaf ilay, right? Two of them there. Aisha ta, Aisha ta is a badal for Um. Aisha is memnu min asarf, meaning it does not take tanwin nor kasras when it's majroor. So when it's majroor, it becomes it has a fatha. So an Aisha ta, 
because it's mamnu min asar. Radiallahu anha qalat. The feminine for qala, right? Qalat. She said. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The messenger of Allah said, Ar Rasul fa'il huwa qa'il, right? He's the one who said it. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Min ahdatha fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu fa huwa rad. Rawahu al-Bukhari wa Muslim. Min ahdatha. Min ahdatha. This ahdatha is from hadatha. But it's form four, right? Meaning to innovate, to bring something new, right? Something new, to innovate. Men ahdatha fi amrina. Whoever innovates, whoever introduces something new, fi amrina, in our affair. Amr is our matter, our affair, meaning the religion, right? Amrina, that's what we're concerned with. Our affair is the religion the dunya is for them amrina they can innovate in the in the dunya all we want no problem it's not our affair they want to invent cars and tall buildings and electronics and all that that's fine that's their affair amrina is the religion Men ahdatha fi amrina hadha. this hadha is just an emphasis of this religion of ours, it's a way of emphasizing. Whoever innovates in our affair, whoever innovates in this affair of ours, right? You can imagine almost like someone pointing down when it's in this affair of ours, like pointing to it, right? It was just an emphasis. Then, ahdatha fi amri nahada, whoever introduces something new, innovates in this affair of ours. Ma laysa minhu. What? Laysa is not minhu. From it, fahuwa rad. Fahuwa, then it is rad. It is rejected. It is returned. When you return something, you reject it, right? That's why we use the same word for responding to the salams. To respond to the salams is from the rights of the Muslim, right? So it's the same word. You return it back. Not you're rejecting it. You have to use it in context. But when you return something, you're rejecting it. And so, same thing. When you return the salams, not you're rejecting his salam, but you're returning it to him. It's just you have to understand it in its context and translate it appropriately. So... And ahdatha fi amri nahada, whoever innovates in this affair of ours, ma laysa minhu, what is not from it, fahu rad, then it is rejected. Rawahu al Bukhari wa Muslim. It is narrated by Muslim or Bukhari and Muslim. This huwa, in some narrations, and this is uh, just for your benefit, this huwa could refer to the innovative thing or it could refer to the men, the whoever does it. It could refer to the new thing, or it could be referring to the person who does the new thing. The new thing is rejected, or the person who does it is rejected. Or it could refer to both. So this is the dangers of innovating in the religion, right? Because you could be rejected. As you will, the people who innovated on the day of judgment, when they try to drink from the hold, and the angels push them away, the Prophet says, Ummati, Ummati, they're my people, they're my nation, they're my nation. It was to be said to them, or to him, وسلم, you don't know what they innovated in the religion after you, so they'll be rejected from drinking at the hold. SubhanAllah. Wa fi riwaya, in any narration from the word rawa, which is really rawa, right? But because of the who, this ya or alif maksur becomes an alif. The same thing, rawa is to narrate, riwayat is a narration. Riwayat would be narrations, plural. Riwayat, right? Well, if we riwayat to the Muslim in, an, in, in a narration belonging to Muslim, this li is belonging to or for Muslim, belonging to Imam Muslim here, right? Men amila amalan. Laysa alayhi amra fahuwa rad. Men amila, whoever does an action, 
Then Amila Amalen, whoever acts an action, whoever performs an action, whoever does an action, right? Acts an action, that doesn't sound right in English, but it's the same word. Whoever acts an action, whoever does a doing, whoever performs a performance, right? But we would use different words, right? Whoever does an action, Lisa alayhi amruna. It is not Lisa alayhi Amruna, our affair is not on it. Our affair is not on that action. Our religion is not based on that action. Then he is or it is rejected. So the difference between these two, and I can't hear you guys for some reason right now, I was there, but I see that hopefully my audio, if you guys can hear me, type one. Never mind, I hear you guys now. So, fi riwayats in Muslim, it says, Man amila amalan, whoever does action. In the riwayat of Bukhari and Muslim, it says, Man ahtatha fi amrina, whoever innovates. So these two are saying two different things. This one is the one who is beginning the innovation. And this is the one who is acting on it. So even if you don't introduce the innovation to the religion, if you act on it, that action is rejected, and it's possibly that you are rejected, although the worst of them is going to be the one who calls to that action and innovates it and starts it in the first place. This is why sometimes you find in the Quran, and if we notice that Allah talks about things in order, he'll talk about shirk, right, and then uh, 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 disrespect to the parents, and then murder, and then magic, and then like this. And these sins are get worse in their order. You know, we got shirk and then murder and then magic. You know, they get worse. Shirk is worse than murder. Murder is worse than magic. Magic is worse than stealing from the orphans and so on, right? Allah says in the Quran, and I can't remember the place right now, but he says in talking about this order, he says shirk, and then he says, and talking about a lot. But this in this time, he's talking from the bottom up in this particular ayat, and I'll try to find it. He says, he's talking about sins, and he talks about from low, like maybe, you know, the orphan, stealing from the orphan, disrespecting the parents, murder, right? And then he says, shirk, and then he says, and speaking about Allah without knowledge. How could speaking about Allah without knowledge be worse than shirk? The meaning is, and Fozan was asked recently, is speaking a lot about knowledge worse than shirk? We thought shirk was the worst sin. He says yes, because of this tartib, right? However, the meaning is, speaking a lot without knowledge is like the preacher, the one who gets up in front of the congregation in the church and makes up the lies. And the people in the audience, they just follow Right? They just follow it. They commit shirk, but they follow him who made it up. So the same thing is happening here. Whoever innovates, he's worse than the one who does. But both of them, their actions are rejected, and possibly both of them are being rejected. Any questions about the Arabic here? Is it not a here? Huh? I was going to ask you. Laysa alayhi amruna. Amruna here means men amila amalan who doesn't act. Right. That is that is not for from our affairs or he Amruna Amruna is the file because it's marfu. Right? Our affair is just the order it is put in. Our affair is not on it, meaning our affair is not built or based on that action. Right? Lisa alayhi amruna. Our affair is not built or based on that action. Meaning our religion is not based on that action. So it's just order. It should be like amruna laysa alayhi. Like here, amruna laysa minhu. Right? Hakada. No, I got it. Yeah, Aisha radiallahu anha qalat qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man adatha fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu 
وهو رد ورواه البخاري ومسلم وفي رواية لمسلم لمسلم من آمن عملا ليس عليه أمرنا فهو رد Here it says real quick, uh, Amar, it says, Laysa Amruna Alayhi. That's what it could be like. Laysa Amruna, it's Amruna is Ismu Laysa, meaning it's the, if we said Amruna Alayhi, basically our affair is built on it or on it like that, right? But Laysa is the negation, Laysa Amruna Alayhi. It's the same thing I said, but that's what it says inside the Arab of the Arabayin and Ya Allah. Abu Tahir read, Yalla Ahmed, read it for us, inshallah. We got four minutes left, Ya Akhwan. Me? Nah, I'm Amir, Amir. Okay. You okay. already read it, Abu Tahir, right? Nah. Nah. Amir, nah. An Ummi al Mu'minina, Ummi Abdullah, Aisha radiallahu anha, call it, call it Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Men ahdatha fi amrina hadha ma laysa min. فَهُوَ رَدْ رَوَاهُ الْبُخَارِيُّ وَمُسْلِمْ وَفِي رِوَايَةِ لِمُسْلِمْ مَنْ عَمِلَ عَمَلًا لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْرُنَا فَهُوَ رَدْ Ya Allah Abdullah And Umm al-Mu'minina Umm Abdullahi Aishata radiallahu anha Qalat Qalla Rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam من أحدث في أمرنا هذا هذا ما ليس منه فهو رد رواه البخاري ومسلم في رواية لمسلم من أمل أملا ليس عليه أمرنا فهو رد نعم يا أمير أنا أمي مؤمنين أمي عبد الله عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من حدث 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 حدثنا أحدث 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 ده في أمرنا هذا ما ما ليس ما ليس منه منه فهو أراد أراد وهو كل بجاء بجاء بخاري بخاري والمسلم مسلم وفي رواجات Muslim men Amilan Amilan Laysa Alayhi Amruna Rahu Rahuwa Rad Jazakumalo Khairin Ya Akhwan Wa Akhwat Inshallah We'll see you guys tomorrow But I have good news Inshallah After the Dora And after Umrah Like starting in the month of April I found a brother who, inshallah ta'ala, he will be on time every Yom Sabt for conversational Arabic. I talked to him last night for a couple hours. Uh, he'll be with us, inshallah ta'ala. His name is Muhammad. He'll be with he'll be with you, brothers, inshallah. Uh, and he's going to be coming to St. Louis soon, inshallah ta'ala. He's probably going to move there for some time, inshallah. So, uh, in the meantime, he's going to have conversational Arabic with you brothers inshallah every Saturday morning uh, or every Friday night you guys this time uh, as we had planned before inshallah he'll be more reliable for us so that's good news subhanaka allahum wa bihamdika shadu wa la ilaha ila anta astaghfiruk wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh